Hi guys, Chris here and if you were watching last week, Matt and I are still exploring the Lamington National Park in the Gold Coast hinterland. This week featuring the walk to Moran's Falls, which happens to be one of the most popular in the National Park. Know that you can visit Moran Falls or Lamington National Park on a day trip from the Gold Coast or Brisbane, but out of ease of completing a couple of different waterfalls in this trip, we stayed overnight in the O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat. I will link my prior videos in the description below. Moran's Falls is located in the Gold Coast hinterland about one and a half hours from the Gold Coast and two hours from Brisbane in southeast Queensland. There is no public transport to access Lamington National Park so you'll need to have your own vehicle to visit. However, there are organised tours you can book that will visit the Rainforest Retreat and give you some time to venture through the treetop walk. Find out more information on these tours in the blog listed below. Either way, your first stop will be the large convenient car park located at the Rainforest Retreat and the beginning of your hike today. Although you should make a quick pit stop to the gift shop for supplies and especially for the toilets first. Or remember after your walk, it is a nice place for a coffee and a brilliant view overlooking the valley. As for the walk, no, there are two different ways you can get to Moran's Falls. Firstly, you can start walking along the wide bitumen track that follows just less than one kilometre along the road to start the Python Rock walking track. This is very easy to walk on, flat and straightforward to follow. From here, the track leads another 2.2 kilometres downhill to Moran's Falls Lookout and another few hundred metres over the falls and to the clearing. This track is just a little longer of the two, but also easier to manage and follow. Secondly, you have what's called the shortcut trail to Moran's Falls. And this way is slightly shorter by roughly about 15 minutes, but definitely steeper and less formed. When you walk down the bitumen track, you'll come to the O'Reilly's Lost World Spa turnoff and a closed boom gate. You can simply walk around the boom gate to the spa and pool. And then there's signs to Moran Falls from there. It will take about 30 minutes to reach the clearing and a little bit further to the lookout point. Or you can have your third option of what we did and travel in a loop direction to check out both tracks. We did the shortcut way on the way there and the Python rock track on the way back. Since there'd been some rain recently, the shortcut trail was very muddy and sometimes slippery. So this is where you need to be careful. Make sure you're wearing closed in footwear, don't rush and always watch where you're walking. One of the more popular times to visit uh, Moran's Falls is between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. to catch the sunset behind the falls. You'll get to witness incredible colors fill the valley as the sun sets over the nearby mountain ranges. If you choose to walk at this time, then your return hike will be back in the dark and requires a torch. I'll also recommend using the standard Python Rock Trail and not the shortcut trail if you plan on doing the sunset. With it being early morning for us, the sunset wasn't on our schedule, but it still makes for an interesting walk and a fantastic waterfall to see at any time of day. As for time of year, Moran's Falls is running all year round, but slows down to a small trickle during the winter. Therefore, try to visit in the summer months between December and March, or after there's been a lot of rain. The Godwana Rainforest is a UNESCO World Heritage listed area and includes national parks listed in the Gold Coast hinterland like Springbrook National Park and the Lamington National Park. Both of these national parks have several hikes, easy walks and plenty of waterfalls to see. I will link others in the description below. 
Due to popularity, the weekends can get very crowded, but time of day and visiting during the week will limit numbers. Luckily, we didn't end up seeing anybody else on our walk today. If you've taken the shortcut trail, then you might be up for a quick detour into the Hidden Gully, which is only 80 metres one way. Follow the trail down to Hidden Gully where you'll find some wooden seating nestled beneath the rainforest canopy and where you can take a moment to rest. After that, head back on the same trail and continue down the road. Be mindful that this shortcut trail can be muddy and slippery when wet, and there's also a couple of creek crossings along the way. Eventually, this trail will come to a T-junction, which leads you to the Moran Falls clearing or the lookout point. Take a left and head to the clearing first. It was only another few hundred metres to get to the clearing once you cross over the creek. Well, you can hear the waterfall from here, but you can't see it. So this is the Moran Falls clearing, uh, but a magnificent view across the valley there. This is actually the water flowing for Moran's Falls, but you're walking over the top of it. It's from here you can choose to walk down the creek or follow the water to the edge of the plunge pool. Know that the plunge pool is not a form track. No restraints can be dangerous, especially when getting closer to the edge, so please take caution. It's not recommended for children and a higher chance of slips or twisted ankles. Since it's not actually part of the walk and you can see Moran's Falls easy enough from the lookout, know that you don't need to do it. That being said, the Plunge Pool Lookout is what makes this location so unique compared to most other waterfalls on the Gold Coast and where you'll see most of the sunset shots taken. Moran's Creek flows calmly down the mountainside and creates a natural infinity pool at the top of the enormous cliff face. This drops dramatically into a densely rainforest valley. Take your time walking around and see the views from different spots. You might even see one of the elusive blue-coloured lamington crayfish. In last week's video, I managed to catch a couple of these guys fighting, so don't forget to check that out if you missed it. After you have spent the time you needed at the plunge pool, get back onto the walking track and time to go to the lookout point. Remember, you would have seen this area first if you'd taken the Python Rock track. It's only a few hundred metres away and fitted with a wooden fenced barrier, offering incredible views of the falls themselves and also the mountainous hinterland region and Lamington National Park. Make sure you bring your camera as you'll need to take some pics of this spot to show off to your family and friends. Take in the views and spend some time listening to the water flowing. I find it's a great way to clear your mind and relax. After all, you need to gear yourself up for the three kilometre return walk back to your car or accommodation. Know that on the way back, it's all uphill, but much easier when completed on the standard Python Rock Trail. When you get back to O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, you can sit down for lunch or a quick drink before setting off down the mountain. You can also see some of the resident lorikeet birds hanging around. They have a feeding section in this area and I feature that in the day trip video linked in the description below. Or if you're after somewhere to stay for the night, then enjoy the areas of Lamington National Park. This retreat is in a quiet area, has some really nice rooms and lots of great facilities to relax you even more. Yep, we love the hot spa water and the sauna. If you're looking for other day trips from the Gold Coast, then check out some more great options here. Otherwise, guys, thanks a bunch for watching and I will see you for the next one.